This week on Life on Jupiter, we face the usual cruiser transport challenges. So we're going to put our thumb out and see what happens. <laughs> we are dazzled by our second rocket launch. Best seat in the house. Yes. And we are bound for Miami to sort out our long-standing banking issues. break again and spill all over me. B! I need a new cup. B! Better get a new cup. Exciting day! We are going to the Kennedy Space Center and there's a launch today. I don't think we can get tickets to the launch area, but we can, um, or the viewing area, but we can just step outside and we're closer than we can possibly be anywhere else. So it's an Atlas going up today. You excited? Yep. Don't sound like it. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a bit of a adventure just getting there. Uh, we're only six miles from there. So our plan is to stash the dinghy in the bushes somewhere so it doesn't get stolen. And then we're going to walk up and it's actually sort of controlled or restricted area signs there. So we're not even supposed to be walking there. And probably hitchhike. I mean, it's just across the bridge and everyone that's going across the bridge is either going to their visitors to NASA or their work there, you know, so should be fairly safe, I think. I haven't hitched hiked for, well, since I was a teenager. And never. And you never hitchhike. Ever, ever. I think she'll get a ride, no worries. I'll probably leave me standing there. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, she's already got the, yeah, got the moves. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That'll work, that'll work. No. <laughs> okay, we got a six mile walk. Actually, not allowed to walk. So the sign says. So we're going to put our thumb out and see what happens. <laughs> All right, let's get serious. Cancel. Uber parts. I'm trying to order our first Uber here. Uh, yes, I'm wearing a mask. Confirm. So it's like 20 minute wait. And the issue is, we've got such a short ride and they're so far away, will anyone accept the job? So far not. So we're okay. here and we want to go there. <laughs> it is far away. It's 31 kilometers away. But he's the only one that accepted the job. Mm -hmm.
We got new cups. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. Oh, I don't think it cheers coffee. <laughs> So we had our day at uh, Kennedy Space Center yesterday. A um, little disappointing, actually. It was about 300 bucks in the end. Uh, tickets were 57 each, um, but we had to get. We thought we could walk, basically, with. But of course, it's all secured area, so we had to get an Uber. Five miles cost us twenty dollars each way. And then lunch, and then of course we've got to buy mugs and T-shirts. So yeah, it all adds up. And we got there as early, like the, the website says it opens at 10. We got there at 10. And when you arrive, if you want to go to the Apollo Saturn display, like who doesn't, that's why you go there. Then when you arrive, you've got a book because of COVID. The buses have limited seats. And by 10 o'clock, all gone. Cannot go to the Apollo Saturn display. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that's all there. Anyway, so there's supposed to be a launch yesterday, an Atlas, and it was scrubbed. So uh, maybe today now. So, uh, but anyway, we got our mugs. <laughs> this is the priority. You got your new mug. So we uh, got the next rocket launch. It's all looking good for. Less than 10 minutes, 10 minutes, just on 10 minutes. So uh, getting all excited. This is an Atlas V and you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. Get out of the way TV, I can't see TV. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we got the best seat in the house. <laughs> Look at me, V. Yeah. Best seat in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the delay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my ah. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Look at that go. Wow. Bye, Atlas V. Atlas V. Go, Atlas, go. Lovely. This bloody podcast is about a minute behind. Yeah. Woo! Go. <laughs> Look at the smoke. <laughs> Hopefully we can see the uh, solid rocket boosters come yeah. off. Yeah, oh really? Fuck. Wow. Minus 10. Wow. Eight, what? <laughs> the countdown is so late. <laughs> So it's six in the morning, Cape Canaveral, we're waiting for the lock to open, which should be right now, let's see. Canaveral lock, Canaveral lock, this is Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2. Can we really expect him? Good early morning, sir, uh, catamaran eastbound, uh, standing by for lock opening. Copy that. Be a few minutes getting it ready. Stand by for green light. Reminder, everybody on board must be wearing life jackets. Copy, life jackets. So we are heading south now, leaving Cape Canaveral to um, Miami. And I'm not sure if we'll go all the way to Miami or stop at West Palm Beach, maybe. Um, We've been waiting for nearly a week now to leave because uh, the wind has just been, it's been a good 20 knots from the east, which is just not so great because um, we have to stay in the shallow water to avoid the Gulf Stream current, you know. And it means the waves would have been standing up. But today, 
Forecast is about 15 knots, maybe 17, dropping down to 10s later today. So finally we're underway and we've got to get through the, the lock operates all day but then the bridge behind it closes for a couple of hours during peak hour and I'm not positive that that's all right that happens on a Saturday but anyway we're leaving early because we've got a long way to go. It's, open. it's about 170 miles to Miami or about 100 miles to uh, West Palm Beach so we'll see we may go all through the night and get there to Miami tomorrow. This is Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2. Flight Road 401 Bridge, go ahead, Captain. Good morning, uh, just in the lock with gates opening, requesting a, uh, a bridge opening for uh, eastbound. Copy that, Captain. I'll begin that opening as soon as it's safe to do so. Please stand by on channel 9 until you've cleared the fender system. Standing by. So we're enjoying West Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. We came here because we actually had to go to Miami. Um, so we end up hiring a car on Wednesday and driving down and doing a few other little shopping trips. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we had to go to the bank in Miami because I've had my bank problems for over a year now. They, uh, in Hong Kong there at HSBC, they suddenly tell me they don't recognize my signature <laughs> and now I have no access to my banks uh, to my accounts so uh, I went to the nearest HSBC we started this drama in South Africa and the nearest HSBC was Miami so that's why we went there <laughs> that's why we come to the US 
anyway that's what you do yeah mm -hmm. us of a <laughs> so uh we're just about ready to leave here now west palm and um head back to canaveral because we've got a post box set up there where our parcels are going to so um probably in a few days when the wind changes a little bit we'll head back up north mm -hmm. and we'll see another couple of launches spacex is doing another two launches next week and get our parcels yeah. yeah so we're only halfway on this walk here now we've got to keep going you ready need exercise yep let's go Woo.